Hi everybody, welcome to Timeless Fluid Art. How you doing? Today, this is a very exciting thing. I'm going to do a sugar pour. And you're probably wondering, what the hell is a sugar pour? Well, I'm going to tell you. A sugar pour is this plate. Isn't that neat? So, we shall see exactly what comes up and how it's going to work. I'm hoping it works, but I'm really not sure because it's hard to tell. All right, let me put my, see what I did here? This is so cute. Got my turquoise for turquoise, my blue for blue, my red for red, and my yellow for my yellow, and my blue down here for the blue, for the blue, and then my activator over here. Okie dokie. Let me just give everything a stir. Alrighty. Put my gloves on. Let's hope this works because this is so... I love these plates. They're just absolutely beautiful. Love them, love them, love them. So, let's hope they work out. Not sure because I've never done it before. So you guys are witnessing this. For the first time ever in the world, a sugar pour. Now, you ask, what is a sugar pour? Well, let's see if we'll turn it. If it works out, I'll tell you. <laughs> no, it's a um, it's a sugar pour. I, I just don't know what to tell you. Um, nothing I'm putting on it is sugar. All right. First off, my base coat. Now I'm just going to put just a little bit because I don't really want to run up the sides. I want to just be around the actual design. So well, I'm just going to do that at the moment. I'm going to do red first. And then yellow. And then I'm going to do my turquoise on top of that. We'll get some green with that. And then my light blue. Alrighty. And now my activator. Okay. And I'm going to blow, blow it around. Let's see what happens. Let me just blow some of this around. I uh, just, I guess I'll go around like this a little bit. Okay. Now I don't know how this is going to dry, so we're going to have to see. Okay, that's it. I'm not going to do anything else. I want to see how it dries. And uh, it should come out great. I'll show you close up. Isn't that cool? Now this can be hung on a a stick-on hook on the back and they just hang it on your wall. So it's really cool. It's biodegradable, which is what I like. All right, let me put this over in my drying area. This came out gorgeous too. Let me move this stuff around here. Now I'm 
do one more and then I have it drop up and around the sides. See which one works out better. Oh my God, this is just so cool. It's a sugar bar. It's amazing how it does it. It's, it's crazy. All right. Now I'm going to do a little bit more paint here, or base coat. Whoa. You need more. Ah. Good old paint. Oh, you love me. That was funny. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay. I'm not worried about going up and down it yet. I have to wait get my paint on here first. And I'm going to do it right again. A little bit more because I want to be able to spread it uphill. Okay. And then my yellow. Then my turquoise. All right. And then my light blue. Put my lid on my base coat here. Okay, and now my cell activator. All right, so it doesn't matter about that. Just squish it around a little bit. Gotta pour everything off. Oh, this is really cool, guys. I want to do this one corner. This is really outrageous. This is cool. Throw some of that color off of there. Let me throw some this way. It's a lot of paint on this end. Okay, perfect, love this too. All right, get this right here. And there is plenty of paint on here to do it. 
So let me grab some over here. I'll go down there. Okay. Cool. This is very cool. All right, it's very simple, plain, but gorgeous. Let me put it on my drying station to dry. Now, I don't know how this is going to come out, whether it's going to be cracking or just still be beautiful. I have no idea. Oh, that's my one little thing. Wow. This is so cool. All right, I'm going to do, um, I think, one more. Let me just get my paint off my hands here. One more just in the center. All right. And I probably could use another container on here. I think this will fit on here, but still I need. All right. Who would think sugar? <laughs> it's crazy. All right, that's all I'm going to do there. And let's try yellow on the bottom this time. And then blue, light blue. And I'm going to do yellow again. And red on top. And I would do my white, but I don't feel like it. Now, let me see something. If I can wipe this little speck off here. No. All right. All right, let's just try this. Oh, this is so cool. Alright, I'll go down this way. 
I was going to keep it in the center, but I really like the effect of having it in and out. I like that like that. Let's see. I'm gonna do it again. Do um let me see. I am just gonna do the red here. And the yellow. Just a drop of yellow. And now my blue. Get some darker colors in here, make it really look really cool. And then my black. All right, now let's try this. Absolutely amazing. Okay, look at this way. Go down this way now. This opposite corner. It's probably not going to pour because I don't have any paint over there. But I might be able to get it to go. Yep. I love the colors. Oh my gosh, they look so cool. I wonder if I can have a slide on this side. I don't think so. I think that's all I can do. I like leaving this empty here. No, let me try doing it some here, over here. Mm-hmm. Do this part over here. Oh. 
This is cool. fun with this. This is so exciting. Oh, I have that a little more here. Okay. <sighs> Fabulous. Simply fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. All right, now, I'm gonna keep this here for a second until I figure out where to put this because I'll just stick it here. I love, love, love this. I hope it works. That's all I can say. I hope. I hope it doesn't eat up the plate <laughs> or anything like that. Okay. Well, let me take you down. And show you what I did. 